The California Lottery announced the identity of the last of last year's two billion dollar Powerball winner, but now there is someone else claiming the ticket was stolen from him. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda has more on a potential lawsuit. It is the biggest Powerball jackpot in history, and now there could be a dispute over who bought the winning ticket here at Joe's gas station in Altadena. The name of the person who is the only player to match all six numbers of the historic Powerball drawing last November is Edwin Castro. The lottery announced Edwin Castro as the winner of the big prize and that he would collect a lump sum payment of $997 million. Castro did not show up to the announcement. Our winner declined the opportunity to be with us today. There's now a potential lawsuit that claims a man named Jose Rivera actually purchased the ticket. In the paperwork, Rivera claims that another man, identified only as Reggie, stole the ticket and would not give it back. Rivera says after the winning numbers were selected, he kept asking to get the ticket, but Reggie Reggie refused. He claims Reggie threatened to destroy the ticket if he didn't split the winnings. The document says Rivera reported all of this to law enforcement and the California lottery. The lottery has claimed it sometimes looks at surveillance video to make sure it has the right person. Today at Joe's service station, no one would talk to us to confirm if the lottery had checked its video from back in November. The lottery has issued a statement which says in part, the California lottery is not authorized to investigate criminal activity among its players. Such allegations are subject to investigation only by local law enforcement. Further, when it comes to the vetting process for big winners, California lottery has the utmost confidence in its process for doing so. California lottery remains confident that Edwin Castro is the rightful winner. The lawsuit names the state lottery, Edwin Castro and Reggie as defendants, and the lottery says its role would be limited in any investigation. It could answer questions and maybe provide evidence that is legally required. I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.